Here's my ranking of the five Insidious films. Last, The Red Door. It's nice to see where the family is at after the first two films, but the movie spends way too much time reminding us of the events of those films and it doesn't move the story forward. The last key, there's some nice details and cleverness in how it tells us Elise's backstory, but there's also a lot of sloppiness in the execution here. Chapter two, it's a solid enough addition to the franchise, but I feel they wrote themselves into a bit of a corner where the audience knows information that the characters in the movie don't have. Chapter three, a clever way to continue the franchise by making it a prequel where we get the backstory about the side characters. One, the original Insidious takes a familiar setup and does something wholly original with it by bringing in this idea of astral projection and the further 